it's Jess and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I am finally going to show you guys how I edit my videos in 2019. Editing videos, I feel like it shouldn't be a big secret for anyone and especially it would help you guys, especially when you guys are just starting out and becoming small YouTubers and I feel like it's really hard being a small YouTuber. Um, I'm just going to show you guys how I edit and film for my vlogs. Um, I know in some comments that I see are like how I edit my intro and and stuff like that and I'm just gonna show you guys how I edit in film and let's get right into the video another thing that I forgot to add in was that I know planning a video is really important that's like the first step I think that buying a planner from Target or like even getting a little calendar just to plan out your video write them down I'm just really bad at writing them down <laughs> First, I'm going to show you guys the equipment that I use. As of right now, I am using my G7X Mark II. I know it's a vlogging camera and also it's good for sit down videos as well, which I'm doing right now. So I can't really show you guys. You guys don't have to go out buy an expensive camera right off the bat. I mean, I did because I'm very like competitive and I'm just like, oh, I need the best quality. And so I went a little extra and I saved up and I got myself a camera with the tripod. So this is the tripod that I use. It's the one that a lot of people use. I know like as YouTubers, there's so many people that have this tripod and it works really well, especially like going out and like vlogging and taking it on the go. It's really easy. I'm sorry if it like changed positions. Another tripod that I have is my Gorillapod and it's the 3K one, I think. And it has a little leveler. There's the little leveler. And this shows me how my camera is set up and making sure that it's like straight and like not tilted so that way I could get like the best quality and like the best angles. I wouldn't spend a lot of money on a tripod anyway but I use that for my sit down videos and I have another camera that I use for my sit down videos which is my Canon M50. This really just does the job. It's really easy to like zoom in and zoom out especially when I need like that quick zoom in and zoom out and I use this to take pictures as well so I think when you do invest in a camera I think that you should either go with the Canon M50 or the G7X Mark II depending on like what you prefer but I love both cameras my G7X I use obviously for vlogging like I said and sometimes I even use it for my sit down videos I'm pretty sure these were the same price because I got this on sale I know that and this really just does the job and there's a little slot right here and you can put your microphone in here too so I think this is really good instead of buying a DSLR camera because I know DSLRs are thousands of dollars which I will invest in that like in the future but as of right now I'm a small YouTuber so I can't really buy anything. So yeah, I think this really does the job. It's the EOS M50 and yeah, it's a good camera. I really like it. And another thing to add on to this is I really recommend you guys using an Apple computer. Either an iMac or a MacBook Pro and MacBook Air okay any apple laptop or computer it really does a job especially when it comes to editing videos um i feel like it's a lot easier than editing on your phone or your ipad because i know that i've edited on my ipad before and there's not as many features as i do in a macbook pro so when i edit my videos i use my macbook pro and i get better features than my ipad or my iphone so i really recommend that too so the software that i used to use um is imovie i I used to use it on my iPhone and my iPad and my MacBook but recently I just bought Final Cut Pro. I'm kind of a beginner on Final Cut Pro but I've been learning as I've been going so I'm going to show you guys how I edit on Final Cut Pro. I need to switch up the battery so I will be right back. So right now, I'm just gonna show you guys how I edit on Final Cut Pro on my MacBook. I'm just gonna show you the basics of editing. So some basics of editing is using, you guys could use iMovie for this, or Final Cut Pro, whichever one you have or prefer. I'm gonna show you guys how to cut a video and I'm gonna show you guys how like Ken burns so that way it like zooms in. So this is how I cut. So I'm gonna edit and do this and I'm going to select that and I'm going to click on crop where it says type I'm going to put crop and so right here I'm going to use either left and then there's right and then you can like zoom in and you can do the top and then the bottom or this way 
that's how you do that. And then, okay, I'm gonna cut this. And then we're gonna cut this and I'm gonna show you guys how Ken burns. Okay. So this is Ken Burns and it shows on the bottom right here. And there's the start and if you want it to start from like full screen or like start from here, this is how you end it. You could either you could end it like that and yeah. So this So that way it like zooms in. So next I'm going to show you guys how I do my transitions. Um, sometimes I would use the app Phantom or I use the um, regular transitions that are already on the Final Cut Pro and I use... So if I wanted a transition, okay, so in this I would put generators and I'll put custom which will have a black screen but I usually change the color and I change it to white and then I exit out and then on titles I would put typewriter which is right there and then I drag that over the custom and for that I would just put let's say I put so once I get the titles and I get typewriter now I need to change the colors and I go to face and I go show I click on that and then I change this to black so I kind of like switch it and um so for text I put let's see trim and then when I go to sound effects, I go type in, it's already there, so I do typewriter and I do manual. So I put this and I put this down here and then so that way it'll... And then right there, since it cuts off, I cut it and then I cut this and then I cut this and delete all that so it just... Okay, so that's how I edit my transitions, or I use Fonto, and I'll show you guys. First, I go into the app Fonto, and I click the camera, and then I click plain image, and then, let's see, I will choose a color, say I choose this color, and then I will choose custom, and I'll make that 1280, and the height, I will use 720, and use. So I use the custom 1280 and 720 because I don't want to have troubles like trying to edit. So I use this and then sometimes I'll add some stars to it. So I'll add a few stars. Um, I think it would be easier if you guys just add the stars first. That way, like, so the text doesn't move either. And keep adding them. Uh, keep adding. Oh, let's put six of them okay and then I size it and I make it smaller so this is how my transition would look so this is how my transition like screen would look if I used Fonto instead of using iMovie not iMovie Final Cut Pro instead of using Final Cut Pro I could use Fonto and on Fonto I would click save image and it'll just automatically save to your camera roll and since I did that on my phone I usually just airdrop it to my computer and then just add it in like how I added the custom transition now I'm going to move the stars a little bit wherever I want and then yeah I'm going to save that one that way when I do edit my videos, I'll just like airdrop the two and then I'll just like cut and paste and cut and paste and like alternate them. The next thing I'm going to show you guys how I edit my thumbnails. So when editing my thumbnail, I usually go take a screenshot and then I go on PicMonkey and then I fix it and make it 1280 to 720 because if it's too big, it will not use it. And then I'll use Visco to edit if I want it brighter or however I want it. And then um, I'll go on back to the app Fonto and I'll just add the text. And yeah, that's how I basically edit my thumbnail. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys it's because it's kind of like complicated and there's a lot of steps to it i can't screenshot and like screen record at the same time so i can't really show you guys either what i really recommend you guys doing is that um take an actual photo on your camera and take a thumbnail sometimes i forget all the time i'm very forgetful so that's why i do what i do and i screenshot or when i do upload i grab the thumbnail that's already there and then i just like edit that and i save it because it's already 1280 by 720 so that way I don't need and I just need to edit the picture and how I want it so I'm sorry if this all doesn't really make sense 
it makes sense to me and I don't know because sometimes I can be really bad at explaining this and I hope this actually helps you guys so if you guys have any more questions comment them down below and I'll try to talk to you guys and reply I hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel I upload on Tuesdays at 2 p.m. Pacific time I'm trying to upload a little bit more and I wish I was better at explaining things I'm sorry and I hope you guys have a wonderful magical day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!